All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakurash, double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wa Akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. Another video through the Spirit, your brother Malak from GMS Detroit. Man, y'all, I, I just I became aware of this clip yesterday, all right? And as I said, I got to do a video on this. So that's what's going to happen. Um, you know, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to title it, but it's. Ha, with this clip you're gonna see how you know for the for the ladies right you're about to see how you're supposed to deal with a man how you're supposed to interact with a man and growing up here in america and in the western world it has been lost to us because our women you know have been taught to be like men you know be demons fight you know child support this and that well when you when you go to other parts of the world uh you're going to you get to see a glimpse of how things are supposed to be. It's actually funny. Me and the brother was out last night. Uh, we were just getting some food. We ran into a, a Jake. Uh, he's from uh, Benin, you know, west coast of Africa. I had met him at the gym some time ago, but I hadn't seen him for a couple months. So I happened to see him at the same spot where we was getting food, and we get to talking. And what's the first thing we asked him, man? We was like, hey, man, what's the women like over there compared to here in America? Now his understanding of English wasn't that great, but the first thing when he realized the question that we we're asking him, he said, "How are the women over?" There? We said, "How are the women over there?" He said, "He said good." We said, "What about here?" He said, "Nah." <laughs> he said, "Nah." <laughs> uh, he said, "He said over there, good. Over here, nah." He said, "Only thing good here, money." All right, what is what is uh, West African accent? Um, I'm going to let this clip play. And the point of this lesson, y'all, how are women supposed to interact with men? Do you berate them? Do you talk down on them? Talk crazy to them? Nigga, you ain't shit like your daddy. You know, uh, 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 nigga, who you think you is, nickel? You know, all that? No. How are women supposed to interact with a man? Let's see. I'm one of the most pro-black black people you're going to meet, right? And I understand the importance of black family and things like that. I remember I, I went to this... Um, this printing shop, the the girl at the counter. When I say this girl was so nice, I thought she liked me. She probably didn't, right? In hindsight, she probably didn't. It was probably just the, the white girl niceness. But in that moment, I realized this is why men fall head over heels for white women and foreign women. Because when you become so accustomed to our women, even when they like you, they're going to look at you and talk to you and treat you like you and just a compliment from our women is, oh, you think you look good. Where you think you're going, that's a compliment. So when you experience the complete opposite, there's a there's a movie, a Denzel Washington movie, uh, Equalizer. Because <laughs> a lot of men were, they were like, what? This exists? I'm Yo, when I, I've never, I've, I ain't seen that movie. I haven't seen any of the Equalizers. But when I had seen that scene, when she said that, I was like, man, nigga, Denzel, get out the way. I'm going with her. <laughs> I was like, shit. I was like, man, get, get that old dick out the way. <laughs> y'all brothers, right? How, how many of y'all have, uh, you know, uh, uh, even gotten... 10% of that. You feel what I'm saying? Now, hey, you know, you know, I've, I've, had, I've had women do right by me, you know, uh, but the majority of the women that you're going to encounter in the Western world, y'all, they're completely masculine uh, mentally. Therefore, they're not even aware to even ask you questions like that. Brother, seriously, when the last time a woman asked you, who, who, who cooked for you, baby? Who cooking for you? I'm not even talking about your girl. I'm talking about a woman who you, who you don't know or you getting to know, even opened up like that to, 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 to to butter you up exactly okay exactly <laughs> we wouldn't be here <laughs> if things was going smooth and this type of preferential treatment is going to come back in the kingdom all right esau edom has made sure that he's broken the bond between us okay it was not an accident it was on purpose so let me get this real quick out of the book of sirach 
man, that scene, y'all, I was like, damn, man. I was like, yeah. That, and that in the ancient, that's the type of woman you would get up and go to war for, y'all. That's the that's the type of love you and your boys armor up, shields, suit, spear up, and go fight hordes of hundreds of thousands of the enemy for. Not for no loud screaming do rag wearing ass fucking dyke, okay? Uh let me go. So let's go right here. We're gonna start at the 13th verse, uh Sirach 26 and 13. It says, The grace of a wife delighteth her husband, and her discretion will fatten her bones. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. A shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace, and her continent mind cannot be valued. As the sun when it ariseth in the high heaven, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. So y'all, when you check, these, these plainly tell you, you know, a woman who's doing right by her man, it literally brings uh, happiness to her man. It puts him in a different mindset, a different estate. This is not had in the Western world specifically. Obviously, it ain't, shit ain't perfect in any part of the world. But over here in the Western world, things have been uh, designed to completely be chaotic between men and women. And this is by no mistake, which is why you have many brothers who choose not to deal with the Israelite woman and or, you know, Jake straight up going out the country because they're trying to get this affection elsewhere. All right, Salakian. But we, we see here how a woman's actions it affects how her husband uh, feels. Um, and, you know, uh, today's world, you know, you've got all this podcast shit, red pill shit. Uh, a lot of the focus on, is on what can the man do for the woman? You know, how much money you make a nigga? You know, can you do this? Can you do that? Uh, but the women are also supposed to care for their man, take care of him, take care of the children, uh, which is, you know, a lost art in today's world which is why <laughs> when you know when the havoc pops off y'all these men aren't going to be caring to defend these women they ain't they ain't they ain't in their eyes you know they've been getting done none they've been getting getting done nothing by wrong nothing but wrong by them therefore it's going to be easier to kill them and that's really why the heavenly father has that spirit in the world uh there has to be this uh division all right, but hey, for you sisters, man, take notes. If you if you want to see how to deal with a man, that's how you deal with and talk to a man. All right, I'm gonna let it play again. Uh, like I said, hey, brothers, we gonna get this king this treatment in the kingdom, you know. So don't even be don't even be running around trying to necessarily look for this, because boy, you looking for a, you on Earth looking for something that's in outer space. You just not gonna find it ever. Uh, but if you are, you know, you you want to get you a woman who has feminine qualities that make her easier to deal with all right picking uh these holes just based off of how they straight look uh you can find yourself in a world of hurt and trouble he'd like you to talk to you and treat you like you ain't but damn oh i'm sorry but pertaining to the guy talking the podcast or whatever we know that what you bitch? hey growing up through the hood through personal experience we all know that there's truth to what he's saying uh and and now that's it's it's a two-edged sword because our, our women are considered lively, right? They're not like the other women, the other nationalities. And at the same time, that can come back to bite them. Uh, you got to learn how to get that shit under control. You know, you can't be, here it is, you, you know, a chick of secretly like the guy or, you know, a nigga woman, right? When he was in school and whatnot, you know, she'll leave secretly like old boy, but she got, oh, nigga, what you wearing? You know, so in, 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 the, in the male's head, <laughs> It's perceived as insults, uh, but you know when you grow up watching BET, uh, uh, you know uh, uh, Tyler Perry. Uh, what else we got? You know that's how we're instructed to communicate, which is why there, you know, there's this broken culture between the Israelite man and the Israelite woman, and that, like I said, it will not be repaired until the kingdom. All right, so this is just a glimpse. <laughs> of how we going how you gonna be getting woken up you know my lord you on you in your bed my lord what does thou require <laughs> type of activities all right a compliment from our women is oh you think you look good where you think you going that's a compliment so when you experience the complete opposite
obviously there's a there's a movie, a Denzel Washington movie, uh, Equalizer. And tell me, who cooks for you? I'm sorry. Who cooks for you? Boy, uh, you know in the cartoons when a uh, character take off and they close is still in the air with wind in them. I'd have been, boy, would have been so gone. <laughs> boy, she could have been setting me up to kill me. I'd have died a dummy. <laughs> um, we see here. Uh, is that was that all the verses? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so now we'll jump down to 22. So now let's look at the opposite, and the opposite is what we normally get uh, in this world which is part of the curses. Sirach 26 and 22, it says, And harlot shall be counted as spittle, but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. A, dis a dishonest woman contendeth shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. All right. These... Growing up here in America, y'all be honest. Which one do you see more and which one do you experience more? All right, as a matter of fact, where is, yeah, okay, uh, Sirach 25 and 16. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. The wickedness of a woman changeth her face and, her, and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth it, he shall sigh bitterly. All right. Most of these old head niggas, y'all, is done and defeated behind the envy. Don't got no umph in them because <laughs> they've dealt with decades of getting fucking emotionally, uh, emotionally battered. All right, they don't got no more power in them. All right, going back to Deuteronomy, uh, you know, there was a time when our women were, you know, delicate lilies, uh, and you know, the curses, uh, as we know. You know, through hey, millennia of trauma and sin and wickedness, everything is completely out of order. All right, which is it's it, 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 honestly it's in both. You know, hey, like the elders and apostles and brothers always say, even for the sisters, wait until the Lord sets everything up. That's why we're not out here trying to play matchmaker, y'all. We are both on both ends of the spectrum. We we's damaged, we's pissed off, <laughs> and we're in this sinful state. So. More than likely, you know, things will uh, fall apart. Uh, that's why how will buy Shimia Shah, they gonna do all the matchmaking, man. They're gonna do all the man the yo yo soulmates and all that bullshit is is all predetermined. We not out here trying to play uh fucking uh what's that game when you just grabbing cards? Uh not Uno, I forget the fucking game. Uh basically y'all don't be out here trying to play. You ain't finna get treated like that. So be realistic in Babylon. You've grown up in evil. All right, this 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 is not that, uh, and, and going to Italy ain't the ain't the solution either, cause your ass got to do the work. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 56 it says the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. Right, so uh, our women were so delicate, you know, they 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 moved sweet they spoke sweet dressed modestly uh now not so now we have nothing but uh what's the scripture you know you're uh watching me harlot in the street uh you have the other one hosea he that doth not understand shall fall so if you don't understand you're gonna fucking fall so move with the wisdom out here all right don't be out here looking for sister sarah all right go, 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 go where you're loved and wait to the kingdom. So if, if, if Moabites, women is the only one showing you love, brother, then you know, deal with you some love. Hey, if uh, weak ass Edomites is the only one showing you some love, deal with them. All right, until further notice, hey, how about Shem Yah Shai is gonna put things back together? We are not, this is not Hebrew love council. We ain't, we ain't doing no marriage council, none of that bullshit. Things are messed up for a reason and it will not be fixed until Yahweh by Shem Yah Shai. Uh, deemed it so. All right, so that's about it, y'all. Uh, we give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakurash, the Waters, the Elders, the Apostles, Mary Millstone. 
peace, blessings, and salutations, all the documents, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity, shalom.